Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali and welcome to my channel if y'all are new. Today I decided to just pick up the camera and vlog because it is going to be a content day, at least I hope so. I'm feeling really motivated because I have so much time to film and edit because I'm not really doing anything social wise. So I finally sat down, asked you guys like what you want to see and started just like typing in all these video ideas so now I have like things to choose from and actually I found out two days ago I think that the Sephora sale is going on right now so I wanted to film like a Sephora video and just like all my favorite products from Sephora. I honestly haven't shopped at Sephora in so long because I just feel like I have everything I need. I'm pretty sure the last thing I bought was in January because I had a gift card for my sister for my birthday in November but I got like a skincare item. I feel like I always shop at Sephora for like really nice skincare. Um, not really makeup anymore, but that's only because I really don't have access to a Sephora like I did in college. I went to UCF and there's a Sephora like 10 minutes away at um, Waterford Lakes and it's just such a nice area. So we used to go and do like our Ulta and Sephora runs all the freaking time. It was so bad for my bank account and actually the Sephora opened up I think like my senior year. So before that we would just always go to Ulta. Now the Sephora is also 15 minutes but it's in like a shopping mall so it's not as like convenient as waterford lakes because it was like an open uh outdoor shopping mall so you could literally just park and like walk into sephora if that makes sense so it's just not as convenient so i just don't really go that often and honestly i just have not really been buying makeup as often as i used to when i was younger but anyways, yeah, so I'm gonna try to film that video and I also want to film some other videos that I just wrote out some like bullet point scripts for. I wouldn't really call it scripts because I'm not like reading off a teleprompter, but if it's a video, let's say like 10 things you should know about Austin, I definitely want to have those 10 things written out and like maybe some bullet points under those so that I know not to miss out on um, something specific to tell y'all because I'm so bad at remembering things and if I don't have anything written down I will definitely forget it. So I've been shopping quite a bit during this quarantine and it's so bad but I'm buying like good things I feel like. Like I finally purchased Air Force Ones and I know I feel like I'm so late to the trend. I got my Adidas Superstars from Plato's Closet for $30 my sophomore year of college so it's been a while that I have had those shoes and literally the last time I went home I had those shoes on because I, I just like it's so hard for me to part with them they're just like so easy to slip on they look good with like any athleisure outfit but they're like kind of torn up honestly and my daughter was like what what are those and why are you wearing them like you need new shoes and I'm like but I just love them and I was so close to just buying a new pair of like Adidas superstars but I was like you know what I'm just gonna go ahead and get some new sneakers and hopefully they'll be super cute but I feel like my Adidas Superstars looked cool dirty, and so I didn't really have to care about like cleaning them ever. I think I only cleaned them once and like switched out the shoelaces, but I feel like for the Air Force Ones, it's like pure white, so I want to like keep them clean, and that's going to be really hard for me because I just, I don't know, I'm not really like the best with like keeping things clean and nice, so I don't know, we'll see how that goes, but I also just tried on these packages that were literally laying on my desk for like two weeks just because I I don't have anywhere to go so I didn't like want to open them. I didn't take the tags off just yet because I wanted to try them on but these shorts are from Abercrombie. I'm pretty sure they were having some sort of sale when I got these but I actually love them. These are so nice and I've been really wanting a new pair of shorts that I can just wear like all the time in the summer because it gets really hot in here in Austin and I just need to find like a really good pair of shorts and I feel like I want to buy another one of these. I should have bought it during the sale. I wanted to buy like a black pair but I was like what if I don't like them? Honestly I could have returned them so Ugh, I'm mad now. These shorts are kind of like that thick stretchy material and I love that material because it's not like too tight where it's like stiff you know but it's like tight that it sucks you in but like you can also like sit down and like move around and stuff this is the back of the shorts and i feel like it has that vintage levi um style where it kind of like flares out a little bit i finally have a pair of shorts that actually fit me because 
All of mine are too tight, let's be honest. I gained some weight. I got these shorts in a size 31 and 12. Then I wanted to show you guys this little bra I have on. It is a bra, it's called the plunging bra, I'm pretty sure. It's from Urban Outfitters and it is actually so comfortable. There was a TikTok that this girl showed all of her favorite basics and this was one of them and I was so intrigued by it. And honestly, it didn't seem like it had like this ribbing along it um in the tiktok i guess you can't really even see it in this camera so that makes sense but it does have like a ribbing and that makes me more comfortable with it because i feel like it it holds like my boobs up and i don't have to wear a bra which is obviously what i strive for especially if it's like a bra itself um i don't want it to be like super loose i also got this top in black and i'm really excited about that because i'll just wear this and like sweatpants around the house and be super comfortable. We're walking into my filming room. I'm honestly so over these studio lights because they take up so much room and I feel like I can never open the door. I was looking on Amazon for like a solution for this and I saw like panel lighting, which is pretty much the same setup except that it's not like so thick at the top. So I'm still looking into them, but part of me is just like why get something new if these still work? because they're great. It's just, I wish I could like put them away when I'm not filming. This room just looks so much better without all of my camera equipment in here, but I don't ever really want to put it away because like, I don't know if like tomorrow I'm going to film or like the next day I'm going to use like the light for like a TikTok. I don't know. Also another update is that I'm on day three of counting my calories, which is definitely tough for me because I just really eat whatever the frick I want. And it's so bad because I know like a lot of things I'm eating are not the greatest for me, especially in this quarantine. I've been eating really, really bad. So I've been feeling not the greatest about myself because if you guys have watched my videos in the past, I did Orange Theory pretty much like two to three times a week and I'm not working out at all. And I've tried to do like home workouts, but they're just like, I don't know, something about doing it alone. I feel like it's so much easier to give up whenever, but when you're in Orange Theory, it's harder to give up because you don't want to look stupid like stopping the treadmill, which is definitely not intimidating because no one really actually judges you, but it's all in your mind. So you like think people are watching you, so you like do better. I don't know, that's like my mentality of it. So I feel like I do better working out in a group setting, so it's been really hard for me to just find the motivation to work out at home and complete the workout. So I've done like about three workouts. I definitely need to do more. I actually just got some weights. They were so hard to find and everyone's selling their weights for so much money because they know that there's a demand. Like there's none in Target, there's none in Walmart. Everywhere's wiped out. So I was looking on Facebook Marketplace and I found these weights. Obviously I know that the shelter in place is still happening and we we're trying to limit the number of times we come in contact with another person. So they are just pretty much leaving the object outside of their house and then just like I'll pick it up later. And then I just try to like disinfect whatever it is. I found a pair of five pound weights for five bucks when everyone else is selling them for like $35. So I hopped on that real quick. So I definitely want to use that soon. Anyways, back to the calorie counting thing. I want to start a conversation in the comments below. If you guys have tried it, if you guys know anything that's like really good to eat like meals that are really low calorie please comment them down below i want you guys to like keep me accountable because i really just want to like do this for as long as i can so any advice is appreciated and i'm excited to like try this out i don't think i've ever tried calorie counting i've tried the keto diet and honestly that shit works i know a couple of products i definitely want to include in my sephora sale video like this one right here this is the huda beauty contour um cream powder thing and it gives me the most beautiful like chiseled cheeks but um and i have a few other products that i know i want to talk about too but i think i'm going to go through like my makeup drawer and kind of clean it out and just like look at what other products that i'm forgetting we need to talk about these bad boys these are face razors so this is the Chic Silk Touch Up Retouch. Um, and these are amazing. I've started to shave my face, I think a little bit before quarantine. And it has changed the game for me when I'm applying foundation. I tried to start threading my sideburns, but then they would just grow back and like, I don't know. I feel like they just weren't staying off. And so I picked these up because I wanted to try shaving my face. I did not realize that I had like mascara all the way down my eye. Oops, but anyways, you don't have to go through the pain of threading. You don't have to heat up wax. You don't have to 
be super precise with wax like obviously you kind of have to be precise with this but it's not as hard as waxing i obviously have thick indian hair but it doesn't grow back like super weirdly thick so if you guys have really thick sideburns or just like a lot of peach fuzz highly recommend getting these because your foundation will go on so beautifully and you're just gonna love it so i'll link these down below um i think this one came in like a four pack and actually ryan um took one to do his eyebrows so you can like do your boyfriend's or husband's eyebrows with them too i think he just did the top of them i have been listening to the morning toast while getting all my products together for the video whenever ryan leaves the apartment I feel like so lonely instantly that I have to have someone talking to me at all times. So it's either like YouTube's playing or podcasts are playing. And I feel like so stupid that I have to have that, but I just feel like it's such a weird silence that I can't stand it. But I'm pausing the morning toast because I have pretty much everything set up. I just need to figure out which lens I'm gonna use. There are two that I've been liking to use for my videos, the 24 millimeter, which is more wide angle view, and the 35 millimeter, which is a little bit more of a blurry background um, and a little bit like tighter of a shot so we will see which one looks better this is my wide angle lens it's the 24 millimeter 1.4 g master and for my camera body i'm using the sony a7 III. now we're going to take a look at the other lens and see which one i look better in i feel like i kind of like this setup like i feel like it's very like casual and like a little bit less professional even though it does have like that blurry background um but i feel like very like close to you guys so I don't know, we'll see. So with the camera being in the same space, this is the Sigma 35 millimeter 1.2. So as you can see, the background is a little bit more blurry because it does have a little bit lower of an aperture. The other one was a 1.4 and this one again is a 1.2. Moving it back and then tilting it up a little bit. Let's see what that looks like. I don't know if y'all are able to tell, but I feel like I do look a little bit slimmer using the other lens because it is a wide angle lens. So it just kind of gives you like that slimming look. But for this lens, since it is a tighter shot, I feel like it's just not as flattering. So let's look at this. I have it pulled up on my phone um, because this camera actually doesn't have like a flip screen, which is so annoying. And I really need to buy like a monitor that just sits on top of the camera. But for now, we'll just use my phone. I really like the way this lens looks because it just makes me look so much more professional. It makes me look like I have my shit together. But then I really like the 24 because it makes it feel just more casual. And I feel like that's what people like on YouTube nowadays. So I showed y'all the 35 and the 24 millimeter. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, or even if you don't care at all about the camera quality or the different kind of lenses. I just wanna hear from y'all and what your opinions are, so let me know. I just filmed and honestly, it went pretty well. I feel like I've been really stuttering on videos lately and it's been really pissing me off, but this video, I feel like it wasn't as bad, but Ryan just got home. He found this face mask in his closet, I'm guessing. Oh yeah, he said it was from a Halloween costume. <laughs> Texas is now making everyone wear masks um, in public, so that is why he had a mask on. Um, but I'm gonna go back to my computer, look what other scripts I have written out, and then pick another video to film, I think. It's 2.40 p.m. and I'm getting a little bit sleepy, so I think I'm gonna sip on this coffee I made earlier. And I don't know how to tell like how many calories this is, and I feel like that's my issue with a lot of things. I just don't know really how to like gauge how many calories is in this. So I think I'm just gonna guesstimate it and like see what like a Starbucks coffee is and then just put it in as that. So we'll see. I think I'm gonna do like a whole vlog on calorie counting and just like maybe do like a whole week of doing it and see like what happens to my body. I feel like that would be a really cool thing to see. Let's see how long this actually lasts because I, I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna break any second. All right, now back to filming. <laughs> so I sort of got off track and I was just on my computer just like planning out content. So um, coming up with video ideas and all of that, um, but not filming. So now I still have to film. I wanna film maybe two more videos, but at least one. I did get a little bit oily and I just want to like powder myself so I look really matte on camera. I'm using the Sephora Micro Smooth Baked Face Compact in Tan 40, I think. Or hazelnut i don't know all these like products i feel like they have numbers and then names and then i'm just like okay what tells you your color but this is what i'm using and it looks like this i'm just going over wherever looks a little bit 
oily. When I batch film like this, I obviously change my top and then I try to do something different with my hair, whether it's like put it up in a ponytail or like do a half up, half down. I don't know. I just like don't want it to look exactly the same. And I'm working on like trying to set up a couple of different filming areas. I used to sit in that corner over there and I kind of like put all the decorations on this wall. So now I have this wall fully done. So now I need to work on that corner again and like refill it. And I also have my bedroom and that's pretty much done. But the other thing is like, especially moving between this room and that room, it's just annoying to carry the lights around. If I am gonna be batch filming like content like this on the weekends, I would probably just like switch up the um, areas to film in. But today I'm, I'm feeling lazy and we're gonna keep it all the same. So we're gonna stick to this wall. I just filmed my second video of the day and I think I'm gonna stop there. I feel like I'm good on the content. Um, I was looking at my content calendar and I have videos for like the next two weeks or so. So I think I'm good with that. I'm getting pretty hungry. It's 5.44 and Ryan's on his way home from Zoe's kitchen. He's picking up some dinner from there and I'm really excited because I've been craving steak and I get their steak kebabs and they are so good with their like green salsa. I'm gonna change into comfy clothes even though I, I'm already in sweatpants but I just wanna like change my top because I'm not gonna wear this all night. And then we'll see what I'm gonna do next. I need to start editing these videos because sometimes, at least like in the summers of school, I would come home and like pre-film all these videos and I would crank them out. And then I would just like think that the videos were so irrelevant to when I would be posting them. So like, let's say I filmed like five videos this one day and then like a video goes up every like Tuesday and Thursday and then like it gets to the last one and I'm like, and it's not really relevant. I don't feel like posting it or I'll just make up excuses like the quality wasn't good because I just don't want to edit them. And I just don't feel like it was like really relevant because I didn't film it like as recent. Does that make sense? I don't know if this is making sense, but I just don't want to pre-film too much where I don't edit them or like I end up not wanting to edit them. So now it's time to import the footage. I use these Lexar Professional 256 gigabyte cards. The Sony a7 III requires at least one of the slots to be filled with like the two layers of gold things cards. I found that out the hard way. <laughs> so I am going to be also using this dongle. This is the Anchor SD card thing. It has like a hole for like a regular SD card and then also like a micro SD card, which is nice because the drone I use takes a micro SD card. The dongle I used for that. And then I did want to show you guys this new tool that I got. This is the Sabrent Rocket Nano. So this is not a hard drive. It is a solid state drive. And I could not even tell you the difference between them. But I've heard recently that solid state drives are a lot more reliable than hard drives. And I have literally gone through I don't even know how many freaking Seagate hard drives. Yeah, I'm name dropping because they suck. And so I don't want to ever buy them again. Um, and I've definitely gotten them repaired. Sometimes they'll send back the hard drive and it's not even repaired. So I don't, I don't even know what their problem is. So I decided to make the investment because this is a pretty big investment because I got the two terabyte one. Um, and it is just so tiny. Like, look at this. It's so cute. This is the size compared to my face. What I've been doing recently is saving the footage to my computer or the hard drive um, first before I import it into the Final Cut Pro project because you never know if like Final Cut messes up and like it doesn't import right and you think it imports right but it didn't so then it says you have a missing camera but then you delete it off your SD card. That's just happened too many freaking times. So we are not taking our chances anymore. I'm really excited about the solid state drive because if you guys didn't know, I do freelance videography and photography and I feel like it's really important to save your original unedited stuff. So I like to save my projects and like my Lightroom um, collections because you never know when you wanna like re-edit stuff or like try a new preset on a really old photo or just like try to make an old preset better so you can like tweak it. And for videos, I definitely want to do a video reel this year, at the end of this year. So that means I have to like save all my video projects, which there probably won't be that many because of coronavirus taking up like literally two months of all of our lives. Ryan got the goods. We got Zoe Kitchen in the kitchen. Oh, this is torture. Yeah, I made too. 
Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Yum. Oh my God. Oh my God, so good. We are currently watching The Dark Knight Rises and I am multitasking. I'm gonna edit. Well, I already chopped up my video, but now it is time for the fun part, which is like adding all like the title cards and like the animations and stuff like that. So I just wanted to kind of quickly explain. I won't get really deep into it. For all the animations you have been recently seeing, they are all made in Procreate. It's really easy to just draw out like any little graphic you want and then export it as a PNG and then put it into Final Cut and animate it there. I have a bunch of colors saved right here that I use frequently so I can easily access them and then I choose what brush I want to use. It's kind of different every time, but then maybe if I just want to do something as simple as just like a brush stroke like that to put under the text, then all you have to do is uncheck the background layer and then all you have to do is export it as a PNG. It is currently 10 p.m. and I'm about to wash my makeup off, but I just wanted to end this vlog here. Um, I actually just published my YouTube video. I got it all edited and everything um, in one day, which really does not happen very often. That like never happens, but the Sephora sale is going on right now. So I wanted to like push that content out as soon as possible. So y'all can have like all of my top picks and just get inspiration on what to get from the sale. I'll link that video down below because I'm pretty sure the VIB sale goes on for a good amount of time. So hopefully when the vlog is up, the sale will be still going on. I definitely want to vlog more for y'all, but I feel like vlogging in quarantine will be super redundant. So if you guys guys have any like specific things that you want to see like I don't know like favorites throughout the day vlog or like I don't know something like that then definitely comment that down below and just give me any ideas because I, I definitely have like my sit down video content planned out but not vlogs you can't really plan out vlogs technically but like you know what I mean like just more like relaxed style videos I'm just really hoping that we can get back to normal life really soon I'm pretty sure April 18th, which is the day I'm filming this video, I think that was like the day that we were supposed to get out originally or like around this time. And it's just, it's just crazy that it's like almost another month. Um, I'm not really sure when Austin extended it because I'm, I'm just hearing so many random dates. So I'm just trying to stay positive and keep myself busy. But let me know how y'all are doing in the comments down below too. Um, I think it's really important in this time to check up on your friends. I was honestly missing my sorority a lot today, so I texted all my Katie girlfriends and we are setting up a Zoom call on Monday, and so I'm really excited about that. I'm gonna go ahead and take my makeup off and end this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye.